Hello, little one. And I honestly did not see this. It wasn't for noticing the eye of that little bird in the distance. We would have not been sitting with these elephants now. They would have not existed for us. Hey, little one. Looking for a bit of comfort from mum. She's not too worried. Oh yeah, good chance, Mateo. This is a very good chance now. And it's some of the ones we've seen before. And I'm just going to give her a little bit of space. There's some Ellie's to our right here as well. And it looks like they might be coming down towards... Oh, let's just look at it one more time. It's just such a beautiful setting. Look at that. The youngster standing right next to mum. Look at the scale difference. Female's not too worried, but she's got the ears open. But her body posture is relaxed trying to pick up our scent you can see the little one they're looking for comfort putting his head close to where it normally suckles just looking for that closeness to mum trying to smell us as well look at the little trunk it's quite a small one sometimes I look at a little elephant and I can almost sense exactly how old it is other times I feel a little bit stupid this one I would say probably in the region of about two months. I wouldn't say more than that, six to eight weeks maybe. Uh, again, ten weeks maybe. But uh, I wouldn't say much more than that. Look at the trunk, it's still quite thin. Even the body, the muscle development still needs to, to expand and, and get stronger and more coordinated. the mother's trunk they're still trying to pick up our scent the little one playing with the grass now again just from listening there's elephants sort of in a half moon shape around us I can hear elephants to our left elephants to our right oh look at that she's trying to smell us again That's a stunning setting, the dark of the night behind her. Let's leave them alone a little bit. Thank you, Mum. We're going to have another look at you soon. So I'm going to go see what else is around. Maybe we can recognize some of them, Matthew, and we can maybe answer that question. Maybe it's a, the herd we saw this morning. It's another herd. I'm just very, very excited about the amount of elephant activity that's around at the moment. say it's a coincidence to be honest with you it's something I wrote down many years ago and thought about many many hours in my life I don't really believe in coincidences it's all just things that happen in the moment I look at the attitude difference the behavioral difference with this herd of elephant compared to the ones we saw earlier and this is a young elephant he doesn't have a big adult close to him at all and he's happy with us pulling up right behind him here almost from a sort of a side hind angle which quite often can make elephants uncomfortable so this shows you these guys are comfortable with the vehicle, probably with our vehicle as well. They've seen us before. Let's move slightly. to him. Hey Mr. Elephant. Oh, magic.
so close you can actually hear the mouth, you can hear it chewing. <laughs> All stations another slummy and love, three hours dam, uh, nice and relaxed. Uh, don't think they've put that much yet, maybe a little bit later. <laughs> He's got his head right in the bush there, look at that. Look at the eye there as well. And total comfort with us, this one hasn't even really acknowledge that we're there. Obviously it's very aware of us, but it's just so comfortable that it's happy to keep doing what it was doing. And just feel the difference there compared to earlier. And both are fantastic. They don't get me wrong. I would not change anything about any experience with these, with these creatures. What are you eating there? Are you trying to get some bark? I think he's trying to get to the root or maybe break one of those branches off. A question with a few different layers coming. I'm just going to touch on one of the aspects of it. Jenny asking what the most common owl is out here. Um, since it's night time, we might see one. Um, difficult to say actually. Probably most commonly heard is the pearl spotted owl, one of the smaller ones. But they're quite difficult to spot because they're very well camouflaged. I'd say the owl we've probably seen most often from specifically our drives is that giant eagle owl or Vero's eagle owl, which is a magnificent owl, very large bird. Seen him quite a few times, or her, I'm not sure, male or female. Wow, this elephant has got such a coolness about it. it really, is, there's the eye again, it's trying to have a look at us. But it's just the way it's moving, it's almost like it's in a, in a dream state. Look at those eyelashes, I don't know if you can make them out. Long eyelashes, very, very handy. If you're sticking your head into a bush like this elephant's doing now, and like elephants often do, it acts like whiskers. Wow. Window to our soul. <laughs> but yeah, this is. I'm literally feeling calmer, and I've been very calm this afternoon. It's just a sense of tranquility and peace that you can feel from this animal. Hello. move a little bit I just heard the battery beep I don't want to sit next to this elephant which is so relaxed with the engine but there's more Ellie's around here I wouldn't mind seeing who's around see if we can maybe recognize one of them thank you it was amazing here's another one yes these elephants are so relaxed there's a big one in there it's very difficult to see Let's just move along for now and we'll just do a re turn around at the front and we'll come back again <laughs> 